So good morning, everyone. Welcome to the fourth experiment. Here we'll be testing the working of a MOSFET as an amplifier, and again we'll be checking its. We'll be doing the AC analysis to find the bandwidth of the given circuit. So first we'll be adding the components. So I need a comp capacitor at the input. Just press Control R and click and escape. Then I need. Resistors for biasing potential. Press escape. Then I need voltage source. Okay, I need it at the input. I need it for biasing. Press escape. We need a ground. And we also need a MOS transistor, so we need an NMOS. So I'll just press NMOS and press OK and bring it here. Okay. And now make the connections. This is gate. Press escape. And once uh, your connections are done, we can add the labels. Port type is output and press OK and escape. And now we will just connect it to the output terminal for the clarity to understand from where to take the output. Once our connections are done, the next step is to add the Values, just take your mouse to the component, right click, add your value. Here I'll be taking one microcapacitor ferret. Then this is 200K. Hundred K. This is one K. Then we have input voltage again, similar to the previous experiment. We will be taking the amplitude, but in this case, I'm taking the amplitude as one milli and the frequency as 20K. AC, I'm taking it as one, press OK. Here, the biasing potential required is 1.8. I'll be now selecting a model for NMOS. So we will be picking BSC42. Once we select the model and press OK. Where ground is left unconnected, I'll just connect it and escape. Now we will run it. Again, we'll do the AC analysis. These are the settings that we'll be doing. Now we can simply go and check. Right, so we are getting it. Now we will go to the right, click the mouse and say do not clock face. Now we're getting the magnitude. Again, what we have to do is see the bandwidth. So we'll go to, now we see what is the peak voltage is minus 12.93 as is visible from the magnitude. What we will do is now minus 3 dB point is minus 15.93. So we'll just take one of the cursor and to the point of minus 15.93. Then again, it's just the second cursor at the same value. Now 
Now we have our high cutoff frequency and the low cutoff frequency. The difference between the two will give us the bandwidth. So this is how we do the AC analysis of a circuit with MOSFET. Thank you.